I did not really expect this to pass. When I saw the results of the election in November, I knew we were short uh, Republicans to make this a reality in New Hampshire. And welcome back to Close Up. That was House Speaker Sean Jasper talking about right to work legislation. And although they may not openly say so, labor unions in New Hampshire probably be breathing a little bit easier of late after that legislation wasn't only voted down, it was basically burned at the stake as it was decided to put the issue on ice for the next two years. Joining me to talk about this and the political ramifications, my colleague here at WMUR, John DeStaso. Josh, Thanks how are you today? I'm good. <laughs> so we'll see what this looks like in the coming days, obviously, right. but right now, Who's getting the blame within the Republican Party for this not working out, do you think? Well, the one who's most under the gun is the gentleman we just had on, uh, the Speaker, Speaker Jasper. Uh, he basically told it like it is and has been warning of this for, for months. But uh, the rap against him from some people inside the party and uh, also the former chairman of the party is that he didn't work hard enough to, to rally his troops. Uh, the majority just wasn't big enough. There, was, there were 32 Republicans who, who voted to, vo to kill right, right to work out of a 223-member uh, caucus. Right. Uh, others are wondering why the governor put so much stock in this. Uh, the governor made his points. He did talk to people. Uh, we know, you and I both know, that he had a big pep talk with the caucus. And yeah, right before the session, went in there yeah. and said, you know, you're either with us or you're That's against right. us. Either Republican or Democrat, and that may have turned some people off, too. Uh, it just seemed like there was a lot of stock put into something that didn't really make, may not make that much difference. Ultimately, the business tax cuts, lowering energy costs, those types of things will be the items that attract businesses and into the state. The governor quickly shifted to the pointing to those issues uh, ap after the vote. Uh, when it comes to the governor, though, I mean, regardless of where you fall on this piece of legislation and, and how you feel about right to work, he does, he gets behind the things that he believes yeah. are right, whether it's right or wrong, and he does it with this, he did it with Planned Parenthood, right. and doesn't really think about the political ramifications of this. Is that going to be a benefit down the road, do you think, or is that going to be a liability? I think his, you know, I think it, it is a benefit. It, he, you know, it makes him look like he may have lost out on his first big push right now, but he didn't back down from it. He must have known, the inside, and the inside they, they can count heads, they, they know that it, that it was not going to happen, uh, and the Speaker was warning them that it was not going to happen publicly. Uh, but he made his position. He felt that this uh, right to work the, would open up businesses, would bring in more businesses in, into the state. Uh, and he, he stuck with the theme, so I give him credit for that. Yeah, and, and moving forward, like I said, there's a lot of other things that he still wants to do as his legislature. We have the budget going on. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about big picture, though, uh, in New Hampshire. I, I would imagine um, we're going to see some Republican primaries as a result of this. Well, that was the one thing that people uh, were a little upset about was the fact that uh, the, the, new, the new chairman, uh, Jeannie Forrester, uh, and this, I don't think that she says much without kind of the tacit approval of the governor's office, indicated that those who voted, f those Republicans who voted for right to work were going to get help in the primaries from this new campaign fund that, that she's working on creating. Uh, implicitly, that may mean that those who voted, the 32 who voted against it, uh, would not would not get help, and I know that you and others. I mean, she didn't come out and say it directly, but it, right. the, the message was sent. Right, she was at that press conference. I, I know you pressed her on that uh, correctly, and she didn't quite say that, but she did say we're going to support those who support the governor and support the platform, and right to work is in the platform. Really written in the website. So I right, will yeah. see what, what happens moving forward. Uh, let's talk. We can't not talk about Donald Trump, right? No. President Trump. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's been about a week. It seems like a month ago. There's been so much happening. But sure, it's been I know. A, that he uh, stated that uh, we were uh, New Hampshire had had thousands of illegal voters who were busting for Massachusetts. Yeah, it certainly caused a lot of intensity up at the state house. Election law reform was something that was certainly on the front, or now it's moved to the front burner with right to work out of the way. I think that in the budget. Uh, any, I want to ask you, I mean, yeah. when he says, oh, they're busloading, you know, they're sending yeah. busloads of Massachusetts people up here to vote illegally, uh, and others say he, this, they're not using the right language because basically people are abusing the current law, not breaking it, but because you can right. do same-day registration. We have same-day registration. Uh, is that argument, do you think, helping or hurting when he says things a little bit incorrectly? Well, I don't Perhaps. think, it, I think people, <laughs> I think it draws attention to it. Certainly we got a a lot of national attention once again, and it's yeah. not good for the primary, our presidential primary, to have national, you know, uh, people around the country, people who decide the schedule of primaries for 2020, hearing the president saying that we're, we have illegal voting going on here. So it really worried 
the election officials, including the Secretary of State, Bill Gardner, and his deputy, uh, Doug, uh, Dave Scanlon. We have about 30 seconds. What are you working on this week? What are we, what well, we, I just did, the, you know, we just got off of the right to work beat, and now next week we're going to be back at the State House, and again, with this president, and the, always something going on with New Hampshire, you know, it's just hard. He, we never, never know. Never a moment. Never. If one plan can be, you know, on, you can be planning one thing, and then suddenly you're doing something else. All right, well. Thanks, best, Josh. Best uh, luck to you next week. I don't know why I said that, but yeah, thanks for coming. Same, the, same yeah. to you. <laughs> I'm sure I'll see you right outside. <laughs> uh,